So if you go to Google and you just type in MicroLogix download, it's the first item that pops up in Google. So let's just click that. All right, so under software, free starter programming software for MicroLogix 1000 and 1100. So we want uh, this guy, the one in English, of course. So you'll just click that and it will start downloading there. Now I already have the software, so I'm just going to cancel this download. The next thing you want is RS Link software, RS Links Lite. This is the communication software you need to download your program to a PLC. So you can just click that and it'll start uh, downloading as well. Uh, again, I already have that, so I'm not going to go through that. And it wants to try again. No. Okay, cool. So next is free emulation software for MicroLogix, blah, blah, blah. RS Logix Emulate. Okay, so this one doesn't directly start downloading. You have to go uh, find it and sign in to get it. It's still free, but they make you go through this for some reason. So um, make sure you select all families here. At least currently, this is... February 2016. The default, it's on Control Logics, and so if you search for Emulate 500, it doesn't show up because it's not part of that family. So we'll just select all families. There it comes up. We'll select the most recent version, 6. Scroll down to Downloads. Click Downloads. No, I do not want to do that. And here you've got to select the files you want. Um, in this case, we just want this file, RSLogix Emulate 506.0. Then you select Download Cart, Download Now. You just have to, if you're not registered, sign up now, enter all this information, hit Continue, They'll send you an email or whatever to validate your account and so on. Um, but once you get past all that, okay. So then now that I'm signed back in, we'll try downloading again. And we scroll down and accept these uh, terms. Now you can do a direct download just like we did for the other items. Select it. There it goes. Starts downloading. Alright, so now we have all three pieces of software we need. We have RS Logix 500, RS Links Lite, and RS Logix Emulate 500. So you'll just want to run those, um, set up files, and go through the instructions to install RS Links Lite. I've canceled that so there's nothing there. This, you'll just run it, go through all the installation instructions. Everything's pretty straightforward there. So once you get those installed, may take you a few minutes, but should be pretty straightforward. We're going to take a look around at the software. So the first thing we're going to look at is RS Logix Micro. So again, this is RS Logix Micro is the same basic software as RS Logix 500. So you may hear me reference them interchangeably like that. So let's open that up. And you start out here with no project. Let's begin a new project by selecting the new file. Processor name. Okay, so we're going to do a example of what some dishwasher logic might look like. So we're going to call this 
controller dishwash. And we'll just select the default processor there, the Micrologix 1100 Series B. Select OK. It brings you to this first ladder, which every program has by default. And But there's no logic, um, no additional ladders. It's just this ladder 2. All right, so the first thing you'll do when you're in RS Logics 500 or RS Logics Micro is you want to set up uh, instructions that will jump to a different routine where you will set up your logic, okay? Because you usually don't want to set up your logic in this master routine because you're going to use it to jump to all other routines. And routines are a nice way to organize your logic. So first thing we'll do is add a new rung. So you can go up here to this. If you're on the user tab, this new rung should be available. Select that. And then we want to add a jump to subroutine instruction, which you can find by going to the program control tab. And it's the JSR. So we'll just click that and it puts it right in our new rung. There's no other subroutines to jump to yet, so we're going to create one. New. And the program file number will just be 3. And we will call this routine quick cycle. Okay, so we'll just call it quick sick for short. In the jump to subroutine portion, we're going to add the number of the ladder that we want to jump to, which is 3. You just hit enter 3, hit enter, and it fills in U colon 3. You can put a description there if you want, but uh, we're not going to do that right now. So let's jump to ladder 3 to look uh, where we're going to create our logic. Same thing, you don't have any logic here. This is just a bare bones ladder, and you'll have to add a rung to get started there. Okay, so in the next video, we'll actually add some logic here and test it out. But for now, we're going to stop here and we're going to go look at. RS Links and RS Logics 500 emulate. So let me save this to my desktop. Okay, that file's saved now. All right, let's open up RS Links Classic. Now I have RS Links Classic OEM, which is a bigger version than Light uh, that actually costs money, but Everything we're going to do here is exactly the same in light. So what you want to do when you open up RS Links, it'll come to this window. You can open RS Who, which is where you view all your controllers, by clicking this button here. All right. So once you open up RS Who, you can see what drivers you have entered already. Now I already have this driver entered, but I'm going to delete it and start over so you can see the process here. Configure drivers and then you pull up, pull down this menu for available driver types. And we are going to want, we don't have Ethernet or Serial or RS-232 or anything in this case because we don't have a real PLC. We have an emulator which is on this computer, so we're going to use an emulator communication driver. So then select Add New. You can use the default name. Station number, just leave it default. And then we'll close this. Now you can see it's added our computer, the workstation, to this uh, network or this driver. There's no PLC there because we haven't created one yet. So the next thing we're going to do, so we've looked at RS Logix 500, the programming software, and we've looked at RS Links Classic, Lite, 
which is the communication software. And now we're going to look at this emulator software, RS Logics Emulate 500. So if you had a real PLC, you wouldn't be using this. This is kind of taking the place of the real PLC so that we can simulate our logic. So go to File, um, or we can just select this icon, Open. And we need to browse to our dishwash file that we've created. Select Open. OK, and it gives you this message that this SLC 500 program must be compiled before it can be emulated. OK, so it has to be compiled in RS Logix 500. So let's go back there, and I'll show you how to do that. OK, so what it means by that is that basically we need to verify the project. And I'm going to get rid of this rung because it's going to give me an error because there's nothing on it. So see these E's? That's, that means there's an error. It hasn't been verified. It hasn't been compiled. So to verify, there's a nice little icon here. You can just click verify. OK, so now we do that. Hit save. Let's go back into RS Logix Emulate and try opening that file again. OK, now it let me. It's asking us to enter a station number. So we're going to enter 01. So this processor, quote unquote, that we're creating will be station number 1. So click OK. And it's there. OK, so we're going to minimize that. Let's open up RS Links real quick. And look, now you can see you have a little Micrologix 1100 processor um, under your emulate driver. Again, this is not a real processor. It just looks like one because this emulate software is emulating a processor. All right, now you are set up to begin building your program and testing it. And so obviously we don't have any real logic to test here, but I just want to show you how to download your project to the processor. So you can go to this comms button up here and select who active, go online. When it comes up, it looks like your RS Who window and RS Links. And we're going to open this driver we've created, EMU500-1. Find our processor that we've created and select OK. So now it goes online with the processor. And you can see that the processor is in remote program mode. So it's allowing us to program the processor but it's not actually running the program. Obviously, there really isn't a program running right now because we haven't created it. We'll do that in the next video. But I'll just show you how to do this here. To go to run mode, you just click that button. Brings up this menu. Select run. Are you sure you want to change processor to run mode? Yes. OK, when these turn green, that means you're running. OK, so you're now running a PLC program. Um, there's nothing in the program to test, but now you should know how to use all these three softwares together to get your program downloaded. All right, so in the next video, we will actually create a program and use some ladder logic and test it out. So we'll catch you in the next video.